Hey everybody and welcome to The Odds Couple. I'm Sid Rosenberg here with my good friend and esteemed handicapper Mark Lawrence from the new and improved Playbook.com. Hey Mark, how are you? Sid, just great to be back with you. It Likewise. is great to be back. It's week number two. I got to hand it to you. 3-0 and last week. We're talking college football. It was a good week for us in college football. Not so much the NFL, but we love the college football. Yes, you were 3-0 and in the debut of our college show last week, but even more impressive, you called the big upset. You called the Chippewas of Central Michigan straight up over Michigan State. I've been doing the show with you for two years. That's a heck of a call. That was a pretty nice call. Dan LaFavor worked for us in our favor last week. The big upset that way. We'll see whether or not Michigan State can bounce back this week. I don't know if they can. Now, last week I made the mistake of going against one of your trends. I took LSU as a big favorite at home, laid 15 and a half. They won by 14. Let's hope the viewers watching aren't as dumb as I am. Last week, the trends, two and one. Let's get right to the trends for a week number two of college football. Number one, Navy, uh, Navy, I should say, lost a close one in Columbus in week one, rebounded with a win over Louisiana Tech, and now they head to Pittsburgh to take on Dave Wanstead's Panthers. That could be a good sign for the midshipmen. I think it is a good sign for the midshipmen. If you take a look at their records, it's about 19-3 and to the spread as a road dog, including 17-1 and their last 18 tries when they're off a win. That's the role for Navy here, and you know they always come hard, Navy. No letdowns, no look ahead. So look out for the midshipmen again this week. All right, number two here, Mark Ball State got a new coach when Brady Hoke left for San Diego State just before last year's GMAC Bowl. Skip Parrish took over. He's thrown up a goose egg in three chances, but is futility, does it end here? Well, I don't know about that. You look at Parrish and his record here, Sid. How about two, 32 and one? Two wins, 32 losses, and one push as a Division I head coach. And one of those losses was opening week of the season as a 16-point favorite against North Texas, and they lose on their home field. I think it's the Peter Principle in action. No parish, no ball state for me at any time this season. How about that? And they complained about Gene Chizik going to Auburn. He's off to a nice start. Yes, They're 2-0. The Hoosiers visit the Akron Zips. You know about that place as a small favorite. But the money line might be a better option here. How about the Hoosiers? I think the money line is a great option here. How about Indiana 20-2 and two straight up against the MAC? Not only that, though, take a look at Akron. They've taken on the Big Ten 12 times. They've lost all 12 games, and said they were a double-digit underdog all 12 games. They dress up as favorites this week. Wrong favorite, false favorite here. Look out for the Hoosiers. All right, how about that? Now, John and Dayton, Mark, thinks the Cincinnati Bearcats are sleeping giants. They routed Rutgers as a dog in week one, and they murdered Southeast Missouri State last week. He wants to jump on Cincy while they remain relatively anonymous, but with Cincy taking on Oregon State this weekend, is it too late? Are they already past anonymous? They're way past anonymous right now, Sid. In fact, they opened up the underdog at Oregon. They've now gone to the favorite in the football game. That's how impressive they were in that win against Rutgers. Great head coach over there, Brian Kelly, and a terrific quarterback in Pike, as you mentioned here, future NFL quarterback in Pike. Look out for the Bearcats. They're the best team hands down in the Big East this I agree year. with you. Marty Gilliard, his wide receiver, Tony Pike, is a real good player, awesome. too. they got awesome. a real good football team. If you have any handicapping questions, by the way, feel free to send us an email oddscouple at opensports.com oddscouple at opensports.com that'll do it for our first segment the picks are coming up next we're making you money baby in college football next